consoles that just came out, when they were like at war, right? What's better, the PS5 or or the Xbox, right? Here, I just I just figured it out. This is how Nintendo thinks. They worry about how to play rather than how it plays. That's Nintendo right there. They care more about how to play something rather than how it plays something. It being, you know, it. Nintendo's lost, guys. Like... Why didn't... Why don't they release... Why don't they release Metroid Dread on the PS5? I don't understand. How many people do you think bought a, a Nintendo Switch specifically for Metroid Dread? I mean, that's pretty hard to figure out, right? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. I wonder how many people are actually buying Switches right now. Your Switch was from Mario Maker 2, also quite a while ago. I mean, it's... This, that's right, the new Switch. That's right. Okay, okay. Big difference. That's right. Yep. You guys are right. I forgot about that one. The new Switch, it's like OLED. It, there's really nothing special about it. You just bought your first Switch a couple weeks ago? What made you buy it? If I can, if you can answer that honestly. I never switched. <laughs> Guys, do you remember? Did I get switched the first day it came out? I don't, did I? I don't think so. No, I didn't. I didn't. I got it. I got my Switch specifically for Mario Odyssey. <clears throat> That's what I got my Switch for. Mario Odyssey. <clears throat> Nothing specific, but you wanted one for a while? Okay, okay. Is that Tinny Tiny Tony or Tiny Tiny Tony? Odyssey was worth... Yeah, $2.99 or 300 bucks. Like, if I bought the Switch and only played Mario Odyssey and then sold my Switch, or didn't even sell it, just never played it ever again, I'd say it was still worth it. Oh, Teeny Tiny. Yeah, Odyssey, the experience of playing Mario Odyssey is worth 300 bucks. Right, like, if somebody was like, I'll give you the Mario Odyssey experience right now, but you have to give me 300 bucks. 
like I would, right? I think a lot of people would say that about Breath of the Wild, too. Breath of the Wild. But that was near release, so Breath of the Wild was like a $400 experience. <clears throat> yeah. I have to jump much earlier there. First playthrough is magical. That's right. So you guys don't think it hurts Nintendo not releasing Metroid Dread on the PS5? I really, I honestly don't think they sold many con- but then again, I wouldn't know. But this is just my opinion then, I guess. I don't think they sold many consoles strictly due to Metroid Dread. I think most Metroid fans are also Mario fans who already had a Switch. Nice Mario but Mario. this is why I'm not the head of a video game company, because I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Yo, welcome back, Axer. This should this category should be called 96%. You can use a star. You can use a star. It doesn't change Mario's side. Dude, so many flowers this run. Nintendo sold 89 million Switches in August? No. That can't be right. You probably have it from like, oh, until August, the lifetime number. I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, it's probably August from the year it came out to, to, to now August. <laughs> How many PS4s were sold? Okay, okay. How many how many Nintendo Switches were sold in October so far? Yeah, let's see if we can see how many Nintendo Switches were sold this month. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have that info yet, that's right. When would you get that info? Like a month later? 116 million PS4s. Holy shit. How many Xbox 360s were sold? Dude. Video game collectors out there are insane. Like, why would you ever need the OLED Switch, which is what I'm gonna call it, the OLED. Why would you ever need that if you already have a Switch? Dude, collect collecting video games just goes to a whole other level, man. I couldn't do it. Having to buy every single variation of every console, that's just way too much. How do you guys do it? You play mostly handheld. That makes sense. You gave the other one to your nephew? That was nice.
Had someone to sell your old one to, that's right. Imagine being a, a collector, Oof. buying every single version of like Sega Genesis and the NESs and 64s and oh my God, dude, so much. You quit drinking and spent booze money on video games? My last YouTube video, like the world, the hundred percent world record, or the the latest YouTube video, because I know the hundred percent world record. I'm wearing a Volta shirt. Nope, for System of a Down. I missed that concert. I didn't see that one. I saw Ma Mars Volta once in Toronto, and they opened for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but they didn't really play anything. <clears throat> the singer was like sick or something, Cedric was sick, so... The Nintendo handhelds. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm really not much of a on-the-go. Gamer. Yeah, not, not much on the go gamer. I've never seen at the drive-in live, obviously. Watching TV in the background, you mean extremely loosely. The TV in the background is just noise. So you don't feel alone. I only know this because I do the same thing. Right? You put like a TV show on in the background and then you go look at memes on your phone. Oh, nice. Two in a row. No, John Diaper! Mr. Diaper, what's up, dude? Yeah. Have I been pretty good? Pretty good. Nice sub 14A press. Can't believe, I can't believe people are still mowing their lawns, man. I let my grass get really long before winter, so it's got like. I don't know. I do it every year. I try and make sure my grass isn't short. Another category. Uh, is Queens of the Stone Age even really doing anything anymore? Yeah, John Theodore is one of my favorite drummers of all time. I literally drum, like he's like my teacher. But 
I don't want to say he sold out when he moved to Queens of the Stone Age, but he sacrificed... He sacrificed his talent, at least a little bit. Because he's... He definitely does not play anywhere near as technical and impressive with Queens of the Stone Age as he did with the Wolf. Yo, Kuja, welcome back, man. How you doing? Heals good, man. Tier 3 for 15 months. Welcome back. Kuja East back for 20 months. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Mitchell, Jimi Hendrix drummer. Mitch Mitchell is underappreciated. He just had to write weird drums for the weird songs. He had a style to him. Definitely, but... Good time save here. Oh, yeah. Yo, Zipper with the five gift subs, man. Thank you. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I mean, if, if my Nintendo Switch breaks, I'll definitely go with the OLED. But... I mean, it's it's dumb. It's dumb now not to have a Nintendo Switch because of all of the uh, all of the games that I own. It's it's not just a console anymore. It's like a game holder. I got lots of games with it, right? So having the Switch is an important thing. What? I'm like, I was like inside that pipe and it still didn't work. And I kept P speed. A little bicycle helmet. Where's our flower, guys? Where's our flower? This is gonna be the run where I die on the World 4 airship from the boss.
Yo, Nintendo, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, come on! I clipped into the side of the pipe, too. It's so silly. It's so silly. Yeah, but nobody- nobody- there's, there's nothing more depressing than playing an online game and then sitting in, like, the servers and nobody joins your game. Right? I mean, what's what's the point in online Nintendo arcade if there's n no one in the world to play with? Sitting in the lobby waiting to play Mario 3 with someone and then and then their internet's so shitty that it's even it's unplayable even to begin with. It's all laggy and shit like Mario Maker 2 can't even run. Oh my god, dude. The idea of Mario Maker versus mode online is like so amazing. If it was competitive, if they could have turned it into a sport, if they had better internet, oh my god. It's Twilight, we never, we never hit the goal for Twilight Princess. So it was never happening in the first place. I mean, it could have happened, but we didn't hit the goal. Didn't finish Majora's Mask. Don't no. I wouldn't I wouldn't finish that without you. Without you guys. Yes, the bot is alive. So you can't, you can't beat those, it's impossible to beat those levels as small Mario. Yeah, they require power-ups to beat them. Small Mario P speed, okay. Six five is the level that opens up the hammer suit, yes. You don't get a hammer suit from that level though. Yes, it, yep, 8 Fortress, you need to power up the, the H, right? To break the blocks to get in the H door. Yeah, the first door is, well, it's not the first door, but the other doors don't, don't take you anywhere. Yeah, the little H. Baby H.
Oh, no way! Oh my god! I can't believe that. Well, at least now I know it works. No, don't grab it! No! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, we saved it, we saved it. It was kind of laggy there. Oh my god. Yeah, don't grab that power up, man. That's bad power up, don't grab it. With small Mario, it's actually harder to run into those chests. Yeah, the poison mushrooms are back. What up, Teeks? Oh, I can do that. We oh, okay. Dude, Small Mario opens up the door for a lot of old strategies that I used to do. Ooh, I missed my press on that first one. Twilight Princess, once my schedule opens up a bit more, we can we can bring it back. We're, we're over halfway to meeting the goal there, but I've had it turned off for a while now. So we're still at whatever number it was at before. We're still going to do it. There's no way we're not. I mean, people have already put towards it, so there's no way we're not going to. I still have to finish Majora's Mask, but I have I have something coming up where I'm going to be playing Mario 3, so do Mario 3, and I'm practicing, or I'm going to try learning uh, Metroid Dread as well. But I learned that on my downtime. I could stream it, but I really don't think you guys would enjoy it. A lot of you will be like, we'll love it, Mitch! And then when I start, and you see what I'm doing, you're going to be like, oh... Right? I mean, I guess you guys could watch. It's like the birth of a speedrun, I guess. Oh, come on. I knew I jumped far enough. That's so bullshit. Dreadheads. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get good at dread. So I mean you guys could watch, I guess, the beginning. But if Metroid Dread dies in popularity, then there's not much I could do about it. First time chatter, what up, dude? The treadlocks. Yeah, unfortunately I had my wisdom teeth taken out the release, the like opening day or whatever of Dread, which really made me sad. Man, modern games have not stuck around like retro games at all. So I don't know. I don't know how well Metroid Dread will do. It all depends on how Nintendo or the developers update the game. So like I said before, when, when it comes to Metroid Dread, I guarantee they didn't want you shooting through walls. So that's probably going to be patched out. Which I honestly think is a good patch. I think I think everyone should, should speedrun the patch that doesn't let you shoot through walls. Because that's like, that goes against everything about shooters, right? 
Why would you want to play in a version where you could shoot through walls versus not shoot through walls? I mean, I learned the pseudo wave. I can shoot through the walls in, in Metroid Dread, and I'm okay with it. But if they update it and remove it, I think we should all agree that we should play on the updated version. Because, like, think about it. Being able to shoot through walls in a shooter game is obviously an unintended thing and should be removed. Right? Like, it's like having wall hacks. It just ruins the, the entire concept of a shooter. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes, right? Yo, Galati, welcome back for 13 months, and Kibbles and Bits back for 10 months. Good to see you guys. Hope, you, hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoy this new category. It's so much fun. 97% and it's small Mario, so it's very scary. Fucking level sucks, man. All cause the P speed. Have I done? No, I don't think I do it on vanilla. The the original four categories are better for vanilla, but. All the category extensions should all be done on the speedrun edition, because they're not real categories, they're just extensions for fun. So I'm kind of like, I'm on the fence of playing, doing this category vanilla, because it's just, a, it's like an additional 15 minutes, like 20 minutes. And mostly, mostly due to auto-scrollers. Right, if I'm gonna put myself through auto-scroller hell, might as well do vanilla. But I like this category non-vanilla. Man, this is awesome. Small Mario, you get to run through. Super Metroid isn't even the best Metroid game. Uh, What is the best Metroid game? In my opinion, the best Metroid game is Metroid Prime. I mean, how do you beat that game? But... I don't think everyone agrees. I think Metroid Prime is better than Super Metroid. You'll stand for zero mission, nice. Metroid game, Mitch. The Metroid game. Metroid Prime 2 has a has a really cool soundtrack too, but Metroid Prime 1 music is way better. Sure. In the speedrun, this is the only natural level. <laughs> What's your time in this, Teeks? For 97... Vanilla. Oh, yo, take it easy, Shadow King. Good to see you. for small Mario. You have to remember, there's like a minute right there of Bowser, right? So it's, 
So you kind of have a, a 114. Yo, thank you very much, Shadow King. Good to see you too, man. Do you do spade card glitch over this level in vanilla? You should. I don't see why it wouldn't be allowed. Well, it's banned in the official rules for 100%, but this isn't 100%. This is 97. How did I not get these? He's okay, I guess. I'll survive. Yeah, I guess you're right, Kerbo. Probably still banned. Kadong. Seven, I think seven, eight is the hardest level in this category right now. Seven, eight, because if you mess up your timing, it's like over, isn't it? Yeah, well, I have to skip five, nine, six, five, seven, four, one, and eight, four. Yeah, I have to skip five, nine. Oh, I forgot. You could just run into him. Oh my god! No, what? Come on, man! It's fucking game, dude. Like, what even happened there? What? Everything, like, everything messed up, but I was saving it. No! No! <laughs> Stop, game! What was that, dude? I clipped inside the thing, man. All right, get me out of here. Yeah, get me out of here. Yeah, I went through the enemy and I went through the block in those attempts. I went through two things there. Wait, somebody already went and renamed it to 96%? I mean, I guess I can. I'll rename it after this. <laughs> that was fast. Lots, lots and lots of time to save for this one.
Nice, third try. Pretty good. Yeah, let's go. Third try is pretty good. Really good. That saved a lot of time. There we go. That's that's the guaranteed despawn. I don't have to worry. Take notes, Steve. Take the notes. Just name this category 69%. Your category extensions, man. You're just turning this game into a meme. Mario 3 was supposed to be the top tier, most respected speed game. Now it's with all these random ass categories, it's just a joke. Much love to you, Mitch. I'm glad that you're back, Matterfly. Yeah, 5-9 is gone. Wait, why do I yeah, because I can't make it over that. I need to just go to the top one. How to keep up with right with the Super Mario World categories. Oh, come on, dude. I didn't even want to bounce on him. So stupid. What happened? What happened to Mario 3? Used to be top tier professional. Might as well make a 420%, why not? Oh! Oh, you fuck. Triple threat press plus any percent. like fell inside. I think not, Swans. How dare you? Anyone who doesn't know that Metroid Prime is the best Metroid has probably not really played Metroid Prime much. I'll agree that Metroid Prime has somewhat of a lame last boss, but... Dude, without Fire Flower? That's tough, man. That's a tough one. I'm, I'm playing on, on original NES right now. Well, 
Yeah, I have to admit, when I say Metro Prime is the best Metro game, I'm also admittedly saying that it, that's coming from the heart, which is an unfair... But I mean, I've... I've given a lot of time to every single Metroid game, except for all the handhelds. God, it's so dumb when I go through this shell like that. It's so stupid. What? I jumped. <laughs> Metro Prime Pinball. Can't have aliens. In this. Die on this level. Seven, eight, I die all the time. There it is, it's gone. My goodness. I shouldn't have risked it that hard, but... I didn't have a choice! Alright, let's get this clip. Oh, that was close. I only skip the fortress because I can't beat it as small Mario. Yeah, except for 5-9, we skip that just because it's a bad level. So many items. Yeah, I mean, that worked- that ended up working out nicely anyways. Forget it's a lower one first. It's my wall jumps. Let's go. Thank you. 
I don't remember P-Speed strategy in this level. called P speed and no this isn't randomizer I'm actually not in the randomizer tournament for speed gaming Excited for the N64 on the Switch. Especially like the Paper Mar or the Mario Party. That's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, maybe I'll do commentary. Is everyone is everyone nor who's normal in the speed gaming tournament? Like everyone who's pretty much in the same crowd, I guess. Stu's in it, nice. It's a good thing I held off season four for points tournament. Gives people a, a rest. I think a lot of people were kind of hoping it wasn't going to happen. There's a lot of stuff going on, so yeah. I think it was actually a good idea to hold off until next year. I know. Us viewers want season four, but it takes a lot out of the runners. How to survive in lava? I don't know. the past is dope. Yo, Ice Dog, what's going on, man? <sighs> I almost didn't make it on that music note. Mr. Fox, what's going on? Thank you for the Prime Gaming. Yeah, right on the music note is where you want it. Why no castle? Because I can't beat it as small Mario. I need a power up. 
to progress in it. <laughs> Bounce in the dog, what's going on? Yo, isn't it, is, guys, isn't it fun watching Double Bass speedrun his own ROM hack before releasing it? Like, he spent spend more time releasing it than speedrunning it. Like, there's nothing worse than developers creating creating all the speedrun strats. Ron hack that comes with a world record. I don't know if he's almost done. But like, imagine I did speedruns of Mini Kaizo Bros 3 before releasing it. Right? So what's gonna happen is that when he releases the hack, he's gonna go into people's streams who are playing it and he's gonna be like, actually, you can do this. And it's like, you have to let people discover things on their own. Nice. Very nice run. I still died. Yo, Macabre, what's going on? Oh, no, you don't get squished from Bowser's lower half. Um, where did I die in this run? I died in 610. I died in 610. I died in 56. I died in 7-5. I died in 6-1 as well. 